Okay. Um. Well, I'm gonna have to fix that. Right. I see the water up there. Okay, there we go. And lock that into place. Lock that into place. All right. Allow me to bring up the stream because I got to monitor this stuff, you know, like a one man army. So the glasses are off again, right? With my new model this time. Let's get to talking about VTuber Law. I wish I had a thunder sound effect to literally do right now. So, there is certain golden rules in VTubing. There's exactly about 15 of them. And I understand number 11 is no rookie crushing. Now, what is rookie crushing? Let's go into a full explanation what rookie crushing is. It's the only way we can actually solve this issue. Right? It's the only way we'll be able to do this right. And I'm going to have to bring it up. So, I'm literally going to search up the term... Rookie C Crushing. Now I need to address this as best as I can. What is rookie crushing? It's a very interesting topic. What is considered a rookie? What is considered? Now, it's a term that is very, very sensitive. So I'm just going to go with the term from One Punch Man, what is rookie crushing, as that's the earliest subject I can find on the subject, right? Because it's a term in One Punch Man for heroes, and so, what do you, what do you think of rookie crushing amongst heroes in One Punch Man, and how do you... How do a hero, how does, it should have said, does a hero endanger their lives so others can and rookie crush and preserve their rank? Do you think it's reflected in part, uh, reflected in darkness in humans? Now, obviously, like, what is considered a rookie card? You see, there's no actual, like, search on... Like the terminology of rookie crushing on Google. So, what is considered rookie crushing? So, we're going to search on Bing, right? I wanna, okay, here we go. Bing's good for it. What is considered rookie crushing? Let's go with... in jobs God dang it A 
Hey, good job. What is rookie crushing? This has rookie, but not rookie crushing. Is this terminology lost on you people? <sighs> okay, yeah, it seems it's lost. I mean, the only thing you can find is One Punch Man. Like, what is up with Webster's Dictionary? All right, let's get into this, right? What is rookie crushing? Well, let's just say there's a rookie amongst you, right? New guy, right? And he's a rookie. Myself, I'm a rookie because I just started streaming in my second year. That means I'm a greenhorn. What is a greenhorn? Means new guy. Rookie means new guy. Greenhorn means new guy. So what does it mean to crush the new guy, right? Crushing the new guy means destroying their credibility, their career, their choice in job expect and their future, along with any other future in the industry. Rookie crushing is a terminology of destroying the new person and the job atmosphere. That is rookie crushing. This is a golden rule that is forbidden in VTubing. It is a golden rule. And Rev himself, you know, like the, uh, the vampiric, uh, like, uh, VTuber himself, like, he mentioned it before a long time ago, how rookie crushing is against the rules. It's one of the golden age rules of VTubing, and it's going to stay around. Rev actually knows a lot in the VTubing scene, and he's very, very smart. I will admit I learned a lot of information from Rev of Revdesu. Rookie crushing should never be allowed in any aspect. But, what's the punishment for rookie crushing? Well, this is certain resources being cut off from either the VTuber or the manager or the VTuber agency. This is bad for business. And it is horrible for business. It's the worst thing you want for your future business or career. Rookie crushing is considered horrible and punishable by cutting off resources. And even that of obviously, and I quote, loss of collaborative efforts. Now I bring this forth because of what Yumiko has done and her manager Tessa, the VTuber hag manager. They have brought this subject up, right, out of me. I'm gonna and like I'm gonna be that guy, you know, like I'm 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 gonna be that guy. I'm gonna be that guy. I'm gonna be that guy. And I'm gonna be real. I am fucking pissed. You see my VTuber hopping around there. I was fucking pissed. All right, I am pissed. I am not in a good mood. But I guess I gotta teach them a lesson. Because after this stream, it's going straight over to YouTube. Now, it is considered one of the golden rules. And you know the punishment, right? Is there a way to fix your mistake? No, there is not. When a golden rule is broken in VTuber law, you cannot fix that. 
No amount of money, time, or effort can fix that golden rule that you are broken. It is a mark on your career, all right? Now, I brought up what they attempted to do. I brought up the subject. I brought up the situation as best as I could on live streams talking about it and what they were doing to me. VTuber law, especially the golden rules, should never be broken. It is horrible. Now, I brought up the intention of what they've done. I've created a special thumbnail for this with all my VTubers standing their ground against them. As, yes, I made this art to be symbolic of this live stream. And when it's supported over the YouTube, I'm literally adding it as a thumbnail. I will admit, never break a golden rule. You should, and if somebody's trying to rookie crush you in the scene, you should bring it to the forefront and explain it to the best of your ability. I'm about to bring up the art right now. I'm gonna have to decrease the size a bit. So this is the art. Rookie crushing is against the rules in VTuber. Or is, uh, need to put an S there. It's the VTuber, it's a rule. It's rule 11 in the book of VTubers. It is a golden rule. You can see like, Yumiko is definitely the villain of this story. She is not the hero. She is the villain. She wanted to rookie crush me along with her manager. So I made this art to be symbolic of why they're doing this. Why can't I destroy you? You owe, oh, you all will be crushed, I swear. It's supposed to follow up with my entire team at this point. Keep the peace, the honor er, in the the honor in the scene. Protect the rules. Stay to the code. They're all saying it. This is very important, and the, and obviously you see her manager go Yumiko. There are too strong. We need you to retreat and try to rookie crush another day. I know this is not the end of the situation. And Yumiko and her manager are going to try it again. If not with me, with somebody else. And they're being hugely disrespectful. For rookie crushing. So why do they want to rookie crush me? Is what I want to bring up. Well, it seems my debut is close to Yumiko's, if not exactly was on it. They uh, didn't know that my v official VTuber journey started on August 15th. I talked about this over a month and eight days ago. Literally 39 days ago, I mentioned this on a live stream, that my research into VTubing, my journey started on August 15th, two years ago. My first VTuber debuted, and I'm gonna bring it up, right? Cause like, obviously I think it's very important that I do. Yeah, that just happened. So I'm gonna bring up my old VTuber. This, wow, okay, here we go. This was my first VTuber, right? Commander D Prime, or Commander Devin Prime. This was my first VTuber model. Um, not very creative, is it? <laughs> pretty, pretty basic. Um, because, like, all these accessories are in, like, B-Roid Studios, and they're pretty bland. Uh, this is Devin Lionheart Prime. Or Commander D Prime, to be short. This was my first model. Now, a lot of people, when they saw this model, they thought, oh, that's not a VTuber. Fuck you! Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! Fuck 
fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. This was my first model. And it didn't move very well because my first, like, software was Z VC Face It. And it was freaking atrocious for my PC at the time. My PC couldn't handle it. It was literally a toaster. All right, so fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Oh, God. I said that so many times, it's gonna be, you know, like, get me in trouble on YouTube. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. All right. So, <laughs> I'm gonna be in so much trouble. Uh, yeah, so. Nah, uh, I'm, I'm gonna admit, this is, uh, really, really messed up. You know, I want to also mention that, uh, well, you can't fix rookie crushing, but you can learn from it and try to recover from it, right? Right. Yumiko is going to have a hard time learning this lesson along with her manager. These two are serious trouble, especially if anybody they think is double-crossing them or even crossing them. They have a vengeful streak in the VTubing scene, and they definitely shouldn't be around. I'm taking a drink of my drink here. So, yet again... Uh, this is obviously a subject on VTuber law. Rookie crushing. Not allowed. And it's a golden rule. And I return to the ball am garden for this one. Because, like, I wanted to make this a part of VTuber 101 and subject, right? Because this is one of the things I didn't touch upon. VTuber law. Maybe one day I'll go into all the golden rules of all the golden laws eventually. But, of course, until then, like, this bottle has been commanded Devin Lionheart Prime. And this one is Commander Devin Lionheart 9.0. I'm going to be real. Never rookie crush. It's bad for business. Bad. Bad, 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 bad. Very bad. No, no. No, no. No, no. Do I literally have to grab a fan and start beating you like a goddamn government mule, Yumiko? You too. Test out the manager. Do I literally have to whip out my belt and spank the both of you? Because I will. This is the last I want to hear of you two. Rookie crushing is not allowed. It is a golden rule you should not break. All right. And that goes for any other VTuber, past, present, or future. A golden rule of VTubing is never to rookie crush. It's bad for business. It's bad for your image. It's bad for your career. It's generally against the VTuber law. Got it? Good. Can't believe I gotta go over this with you. Ooh. Ooh. Or any future VTubers. You think they would know this shit? Now, I'm going to be back later on tonight because, like, I'm going to play some Fortnite online. And to warm up, uh, join me around 9 o'clock tonight. I'm going to be playing Fortnite. Uh, playing, like, obviously by myself because, like, I don't think any of my uh, brothers are online right now. And until next time, I've been your beloved Commander D. 
your VTuber extraordinaire, your heroic, your noble heroic VTuber, mercenary VTuber, obviously, and this stream has come to a close. I want to emulate one last time. It is a golden rule. It should never be broken. This is overall sacred. And even that, a very, 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 very punishable rule should never be broken. YouTube got a lot of explaining for. I've been Commander Devin Lionheart, a.k.a. Commander D. And I'll see y'all on the next planet. Bye-bye.